Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ashen Empire. I've taken care of some movements before uh, starting this recording. One of the armies here, Styx, is going to meet up with a couple other groups to try and take back this province and hopefully push some more. The rest of them are going to be storming the castle of Lynnshire. Everyone here is still going to be... Um, sieging... or moving, sorry. Not sieging, moving. Up to here to siege that castle. And then these guys are just kind of coming in behind them. I don't think there's anything else that's really happened. Uh, this guy can construct a temple. And we're going to try and take back that province. Yeah, okay. That's really all I've been doing. Moving mound kings around. Um, putting province defenses in all of the territories. And that's, yeah, that's it. So we should be at the end of the turn. We have 22 death gems. Let's do this. And I will have you. Let's just get bishops. They're a little cheaper right now. Make sure we're still recruiting stages. We are. And research level. We are at level 5. Right, so we want probably want to change this now. Unless there's something I really want here. Blast of them life. That's a spell that almost everyone can cast and would also not require a death gem like shadow blast does but i mean shadow blast is still really strong though area of effect six plus blast of life is only one <sighs> hmm hmm well, I'll tell you what. Let's just go down the enchantment tree for a little bit. Get some cool summon stuff going on. Then probably construction then back to conjuration to get Vrillin. <laughs> Who will make a return at some point in this series. Right! And we got the level 3 Astral Mage. Yes. Let's actually move you up here. You can build a laboratory up here at some point. And I think that should do it for this turn. So we should be taking over the castle of Linshard and sieging another one. And now we'll use their castles against them. Excellent. Alright, so they're trying to defeat us before we enter the castle. I'm going to say that it's not going to work. and our undead horsemen are wrapping around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. Alright. <gasps> what? Well, we'll watch the rest. I didn't even realize this is their capital. That we're, we're going to be sieging. Damn slingers. Excellent. They have more there than I thought they were going to have.
I hope our spellcasters can turn the tide. Maybe not, because they're running away. Well, at least our cash just got out of there. Not a total loss. And that's going to be easy. And here is the actual battle for Lynchshire. Oh, they tried. But they cannot stop the undead hordes. Boom. We lost eighty three. Mostly long dead, so that doesn't really matter. 19 Triarius kind of sucks, but we won. And we're destroying the gates at the fort in Iru. Alright, so trackless wastes. Oh. Well, I mean, I guess I should take care of this. Um. Get all the long deads together. And the ghouls. Okay. Now what to do? I don't want to set this up. There we go. We'll do it like that. Attack rearmost. Fire closest. It seems okay. Attack rear. Sure. Okay. Break Siege. Ebenezer, move up there. Worm Love, let's have you move up. You move up. Hmm. Hey, we, yeah, um, we need to get one of our undead commanders there. And dude's building a fortress. We should have a lot. There we go. Skullbreaker. Move over there and you'll collect some troops eventually. And since we're here... Oops. Cast another bishop. Ebenezer, move up. Mm, actually... Hmm. They are probably not going to stay there. Huh. <sighs> Where would they go? Well, let's give it a shot. Hopefully this works out. Ooh. These guys don't happen to be in the same province, do they? No. A shame.
but that's okay. Alright, so those guys will try and push them out, and let's have the rest of you move over here. Alar. Hmm. I guess just move into assault that. You just kind of hang out for a little bit. And I'd like to build another temple if we can. But I don't think I have anybody in position to do that. Do I? No, no, no. I guess you guys do. Okay. One of you will sit here and make a temple. We need to try and get one in every single province. So I guess we can actually move you right there. Okay. And let's collect some undead from this place. Despair. Should move up. We just have so many everywhere. Ariman. Move up. Okay, you two, move up. You move around because you have the, the ghouls. And this guy is what, 120? So he's almost filled with troops. So let's just finish it off here. Okay. So we have another army that can go out. Although I'm thinking about keeping them right here. I don't think we need another I'll call the like I'll call this army a professional army, meaning it has the actual kind of strong troops of Aramore. That does have some long dead, but still. We have enough over here, I think, to finish off the Iru. Unless hmm. Unless they have a lot more. I need to not use you to cast this spell that I want to cast. There's gotta be someone better. Ah, no one else is in position. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. We'll have you cast the... Which one are you? Black Servant? Yes, okay. I need to know what's going on down there. I think that's gonna be good god, all those people. I think that's gonna be it for this turn. They conquered it with a bunch of... Oh my goodness. The stupid crows. No, my long deads. Why are these three casters moving up to the front lines? What are you doing? Okay. Okay, that seems weird, but sure. I have to make sure that they're all in cast spells, my goodness. Usually mages just kind of say put and cast spells anyway, but no, nah, not these ones. They're like, nope, we need to get in there and use our life drain attack.
Alright. Skull of Fire Gain. Tomb of an Ancient King was discovered by a young scholar. Ignoring the glyphs of warning, he entered the tomb and claimed the artifact of old. Unfortunately, he also released the guardians of the tomb. Heavy Autumn Rains caused a landslide. Revealing some gems. Um, the Independence. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm assuming we're on the right since we're being attacked. Yeah, there's our Mount King. It's confusing when you're being attacked by soldiers that you have. Okay. I guess we lost that. Huh. It's most unfortunate, but okay. Hmm. Alright, so now you can stay behind. Press on. Worm love, make a temple. Good old Rod Heart. The High Throne. We need to claim that. You do that. And let's combine these armies here. Um. Okay. Spell, spells, shoutable, shoutable, shoutable. Um spells just cast spells people okay move up Benizer we can make a temple here let's do that Shall move up to the front. And both of you move up. My goodness, there's so many undead. Jeez. All right, well, you move across the river. Eh. Despair, move up. And let's see. You guys move up. Ebenezer needs to stay there, so I guess we'll reanimate some Solus. Why not? Because I want to build a temple there. Uh, you guys that are hiding shouldn't be. Also, let me make sure that they're all on cast spells. Oh, yeah, you're on Power of the Spheres. Just do spells. It's the only shade we have left? Hmm. Alright, uh, you move up. And our black servant needs to move up. Research. 
cast bishop. Actually, we can cast two of them, I guess. And I think after we push the Iru back and we're getting into Ashdod, which I think that's Ashdod, then we need to continue searching for magic sites. Because we have not hit any of these down here. Oh, yeah, we can probably do that right now, actually. We have a lot of... A lot of casters around. Let's do... Let's have you move back here and you'll start searching for magical sites. Why not? And then this army... God, they have three more castles just touching this one province. Jeez. Stop with the, the castles. You're making it too easy for me. I'm just getting all these free castles. We'll move down into the ground, I guess. They're going to push up there. Uh, that leaves this place open to an attack for a turn. I'm not too worried about that. All right, well, we'll deal with that later. And I think that will do it. At some point, we'll collect these gnomes. I want to have a good mission for them, and I don't have one for them yet. Okay. Let's just end the turn. My god, the Eru and their castles. Agartha must have, like, every single province with a castle since they're on impossible. All the bonuses they get. Yep, that's gonna do it. They managed to kill 14. Man, that should be pretty easy. Oh, they killed 25. I'm assuming probably mostly Solus. Farewell, tribesmen. So now we're sieging that. And destroying the, the gates, too. And now we can take over their capital. Excellent. Storm Castle, led by Etamu. You know, actually, I was wondering... Because this is a hero, can we... We can! Okay. I'm going to say that that's Vrillin, because this Wraith Lord is amazing, and um, I kind of wanted to rename him Vrillin, but didn't know if he could since he was a hero. As you can see in down here, you know, he's, he's been named, but we're going to go with that. Excellent. Excellent. The Wraith Lord was a Bane Lord, and now we'll say through the powers of uh, Emperor Rot, Emperor was able to make him a Wraith, make him even more stronger, and gift him with magic. I like this. Yeah! Okay. Because if I was thinking when I first met this guy, I would have renamed him then and there. And then I didn't rename him, I think, in the last episode because I thought I couldn't. But then... Well, here you go. Alright, Vrillin. Vrillin is here, leading the armies. Awesome. Glad that works. Uh, you... Move there. Oh, God. We just have a... A bishop just sitting there. Claim the throne. Um, I guess you move down there. I 
castles up. Probably want to take them out. So that's what we'll do with these guys. Can you move to... There we go. Got another free sensor up here. Excellent. And we will construct temple. Ebenezer needs to move up. And you two can move up. This army will move that way. Warm Love can make a temple there. And, oh, right, right, no, no, you, sorry, you are supposed to be searching for magic sites. Rot Heart, I guess, can move up. Or do stuff here. Why not? Uh, we will revive another bishop here, I guess. You just research. You'll research. Move these two up. We do not have enough to make another temple, so we will reanimate. Okay. It's just getting out of hand how many undead we have. Need to get more temples up here. Still need to build a... You know what? We'll move you back home so you can at least research. Because I'm not going to be building a laboratory here for a little while. I'm more concerned with temples right now. To be honest. Um, and actually saying that, we'll move one of these guys up here. And I have to remember to build temples all the way through. Because the thing is, I can't preach. So I really need the temples more than ever uh, without the ability to preach our dominion. So yeah. If I could preach, whoo, that would be insane. But there's got to be some restriction on this, on this faction. Spend some money there. I don't know. Barbarians, why not? Eh, we don't need that many. Okay. Make sure that uh, this way those darn birds can't just take over our provinces for free. Okay. I think that's... I mean, I can do a lot more troop movements, but I don't think I need to. And I, I really want to take out this castle in this episode, so... I think we're going to end the turn. Well, there's a lot more I could do. And at some point, with Aramor, we're going to get to the point of, like, no return, where even if we were fighting multiple wars, I think we'll still be okay. We're not there yet. I'm not saying we're there yet. But we can get to that point. Cool, we got a throne. Found a magic site. Excellent. Resistance was crushed. I'm going to say that we're going to be fine there.
I saw that we were receiving a message from Iru. I was wondering if maybe their god was in here somewhere, but I'm not seeing anything that looks like one. Oh, that griffin's gonna have a bad day. Flew right by all the lictors. Right, lictors? Yeah. Oh! Yeah, bad day indeed. Not where that griffin wanted to be. Another dragon. Uh, that, that's their god right there. Kvass. Kvass say the dragon. Level eight fire. Holy crap. But two hundred seventy-two hit points. How the hell did I miss that thing? bad for you, I can just summon more. It's gonna take a while to bring down. Ooh. I speed up a little bit. Get in there, Lictor. Ooh. That's a good round for us. Ooh! Jeez. <laughs> Definitely losing a lot of troops. Nice! Got it. Is held up at the damn gates. Those lictors up there are just holding it. For our forces. You're just powering through with two hit points. Oh my god. So, yeah, we lost hundreds. But we killed their god and we took the capital. And we have hundreds more worth of reinforcements that we can just bring up to the front. Hundred and five, but only lost one necromancer. No other leaders. Four hundred and five for two hundred and nineteen, including their god. You killed our god. This war will not end until the nation of Aramor is annihilated. Yep. Ooh, that was a brutal fight. And oh man, look at all these other undead that we can just pull up like immediately. I mean, in fact, we can just. Get like a whole other professional army up there. Let's move this guy back and collect them. And yeah, so we're gonna be just fine. <laughs> the army of Rillenheimor successfully killed another god. 
I say another because Vrillenheimor has killed the God of Earth. Um... Okay, so I guess we'll just do the rest of this in the next episode. Let me let me first make sure to remember to do this. Construct the temples. Ah, uh, Ebenezer, we'll have to get to you later. Alright, so that's going to do it, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. I think Aramor is on it. Yep, there's a Gartha. So Aramor is on its last legs. It has two more castles left, and I can siege both of them this turn. I forgot to move my scout, didn't I? Whoops. That's okay. Reanimate Solus, since you got us to here to make the temple. And here I am just taking my turn. Uh, so thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care.